Good morning, boys and girls. And welcome to another adventure with Jim and Karen. Where are we at today? St. Helens, Mount, Mount St. Helens. South side of Mount St. Helens. So we're going to do uh, June Lake yep. and Swiftwater Creek. Swift Creek? Yep. Swift Creek, okay. We're gonna make our own little trail. Yeah, we are. It's gonna be an adventure. We won't know the elevation gain till we get done. About four, five, six miles, give or take. Hopefully, yeah. So, we'll see you along the way. Here's a picture, just to let you know. We are past the snow park. We're up to June Lake. And basically, we're gonna cut across come down back back by this creek and cut back across there's a little trail that goes across here you ready to go i'm ready let's do All this right, let's get this started that's just hike starts on a very wide trail the creek is right there to our left you can hear it down there there's a couple little areas you can go down but we'll look at them later maybe we'll see Nice and quiet, a little chilly. It's supposed to be a nice day. Hopefully these clouds will lift and we can see St. Helens. All right, boys and girls, we're about a little over half a mile, maybe seven tenths of a mile in. As you can see, the this path is very wide, very used. There's blue markers up in the tree so you can't get lost. Right now we're just looking for critters on the way to the lake. All right, folks, my pedometer is showing exactly one mile. Looks like we've got a little viewpoint here. You can see the river way down there, the creek. Looks like it's going pretty good. A little cloudy. Should be coming up to the intersection of the other trail here soon. We went from a whole bunch of huckleberries to salmon berries. And more huckleberries. Wrong time of year though. Alright guys, just past that one mile mark. We come across another creek, a separate creek. This one actually comes out of June Lake. And we're gonna come across the bridge here. Water's flowing good. That's pretty. All right, guys, after crossing that bridge, we're going to come up to the intersection. Looks like that's the trail we're going to end up taking, going eastbound. We'll find out. And now we're in a new growth forest. Everything's, I don't think anything's over 15 feet, if that. I'm coming to an open area. I can hear a waterfall. Little campsite over there. Let's go find it. All right, guys, looks like I made it to the lake. I can hear the waterfall. There's all kinds of little campsites there. There's a path there. There's a path here. We're going to take this one because it sounds like a waterfall is coming up from over here. So we're going to check it out. Uh, there's the lake. Oh, there's a waterfall. I don't know if you can see it. So it is a little cloudy. It's right up in there. Uh, I don't know, it's it, 40 feet? Alright, we're walking to June Lake. In the fog. All right, guys. Let's see if we come and see this list. Well, I'm looking down this water. And there's all kinds, some kind of little bugs crawling down here, and I'm not sure what they are. But I will show you guys. Hopefully, that was wasn't too close. If not, I'll have to edit it. All right, guys, we're going to take this way, a little trail. I don't know if it goes around the lake or not. 
I'm guessing not. It's probably going to take us right back up to the original trail. <laughs> Looks like it is. Yeah, right back to the original. That's okay. Doesn't look like it's gonna lift anytime soon, so we're gonna head east. Try to catch back up with this trail we just passed and head east. All right, folks, I made it back to the intersection, so we're gonna make a right, head east on this trail. Not sure what the name of it is. And hopefully they'll take us where we want to go. Oh. All right, guys, there's made up the top of this little hill. You see there's no real trail. But every so often you see footprints. There's a lot of footprints down there. So we're going to head off that way. And hopefully we're not following a bunch of lost people, huh? Right. Uh, my spidey sense will kick in here soon. All right, let's see where this goes. All right, folks, my GPS finally came back on. And we are going up this wash. The name of that trail we're supposed to be taking is called the Pika Trail. We have past going up because it's up there but we come to this end i want to show everybody what this looks like plus i just want to see it's like a slot canyon it's pretty neat all right we're gonna go back and get on trail well, it looks like the sun's trying to finally burn through. So we come back a little ways. We're going to head up this way. It looks like the shortest distance up there. The rest of it gets steep, and that's really steep back that way. So let's see if we can find that pocket trail between all those pumice and everything. That's why they call it adventures. Cut up right through there. All right, folks, I can see why they call this a pika trail. Because only pikas can do this. <laughs> oh, we can. Right? Cool. We might be climbing for a while, but that's okay. I know we have to head that away. That's why they call it adventures. Right. All right, folks. Looks like there is no trail. So uh, we're gonna keep heading west in this fog. We will run into the other trail eventually. Looks like we found the snow route. Orange poles go up. And you barely, you can't see into the fog, but I can see it. Must be a snow route to the top. Man, it's a long way to the top this way, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna keep heading west. All right, here comes Boo Boo. As you can see, can't see very good. It's kind of fun though. Watch your step, dangerous but fun. I just looked over, fog lit a little bit, you can see a tree line. So we'll get over there and follow the tree line up. Might be a lot easier than this. Maybe. Maybe. Guess we'll have to see. Let's get to that tree line. All right, guys. Let's see what we're doing here. Careful. Lost my balance. All right, we should get up and over that one. I don't use both hands till we get up there. Almost up there. Here comes Boo Boo.
little bird stop and say hello. All right, guys, those orange markers we saw, we thought was going up to the top. Obviously, they're marking out trail. They're over there. They go up. They start cutting in front of us. There's one down there, and there's one right in front of us over here. So we took the scenic route. We did. What do you think? It's an awesome adventure. Yeah, it is. Didn't see a damn pike at all. No, heard one. All right, let's get over this trail. All right, guys, we made it almost, almost down. There's a blue arrow point that way. The last orange stake, but right there, there's a big flat area. It looks like almost like concrete. I wonder if they had some kind of equipment set up here at one time. But let's make it down there off these rocks. Here comes Boo Boo on the last leg of this adventure through the boulder fields, anyways. Her old bones are hurting. Yay! All right, boys and girls, trail isn't wide anymore, but there are blue triangles to follow, so I wonder if we're gonna run any critters out here. This is a nice adventure, I love this. Gotta keep an eye out. Oops, that one fell. Ooh, look at all the bear grass. That's pretty. Wow. All right, folks. Just when you thought you were done with rocks, oh, we gotta go that way. There's the orange marker. Ooh, the bear grass. There is a smaller trail down there, Karen. I think we're gonna take that smaller trail right there. There's your marker, but I don't see more up there. Let's head that way. All right, folks, we're back in the forest again. It's kind of open area. You can definitely see where the trail's at. I haven't seen any blue marker, I saw one. So much cooler back in here. All right, Karen's put on just said two miles, so we'll see. All right, guys, right at that two mile mark, you're gonna hit the Spliff Ski Trail. We're gonna go up there. We're gonna go to the left and make this a loop. And most of this should be downhill, but I still wanna see some critters. So that two mile is a guesstimate. We said we we made our own route. Just keep that in mind. All right, guys, we're about 2.5 and the trail's gonna go that way. It's also gonna split this way. It says a silver ski trail and then a swift ski trail this way, a swift creek trail. We're gonna go ahead and go this way. It says most difficult. They're both five mi or 0.5 miles and they join back together again. But uh, you're supposed to be able to see the canyon, so. And we like things difficult. More boulder fields. More boulder fields. Or no pass at all. Or no pass at all. And we'll see some critters. All right, guys, this uh, route does take you right along the canyon here. A little tiny bit of water trickling. Okay, there's another one over there, I'm not sure. Might be flowing a little better. Not much of a trail, but you definitely know it's still a trail. So this side of the trail 
you get some good parts like this and then you get some parts that's not maintained at all but you can still basically tell where the trail's at and now you want to just keep heading south and then we should join back up with the other ones over or under karen you can lift them or go under okay all right guys we're almost back to where they join and we come to this Actually, is water down there. Sure is pretty. There's the water. Guess we don't want to get too close to this edge, do we? All right, guys. When you get these views and you see these, make sure you turn around every so often. There's Mount St. Helens. She's a beaut. Pumice and all. All right, folks. Half hour later, we're back, half mile later, we're back on the main trail. Same thing, silver ski trail is what we took. Looks like they had a little washout here. Water got a little rough. And it wasn't that difficult a trail. No, it's not maintained at all, but it wasn't difficult. Although from your knees down, it's soaking wet. Yep. Including your feet from the moisture and the walking through. But it was fun. Beautiful view of St. Helens too. All right, 3.34, you're going to come to the intersection. Data way or data way. And you have another sign here. We're going to bear it to the left. And we're going to come up on another junction, Rock Pit Trail. Boy, I wonder what that's going to be like, Karen. <laughs> It'll be exciting. All right, guys, not much further down. You're going to have the other sign. We're going to make a left here. Apparently, it takes you like a quarter mile. You're going to hit uh, Road 83. But we're going to jump on another trail just before we step onto the roadway. This must be the rock pit, huh? People down here working. All right, folks, so this uh, little rock pit trail is basically is a road that leads to the gravel pit back there. It only goes about a quarter mile. They're going to hit Pine Martin Trail. We'll see if that's a road or not. Like I said, it's just before you step on the Highway 83. And that'll take us back to the road to Blue Lake. Try it. So we'll see the next intersection. All right, folks, we made it Pine Martin. There's 83 right there in front of us. We're gonna cut back through there. So we're seeing a little bit. All right, folks, we're on the Pine Martin Ski Trail now. So it's pretty back in here. So it looks like every turn off was a different trail, different terrain. Just saw a grouse fly up. We startled it. All right, let's get in these woods. All right, guys, after falling out a little ways, come right back out on the road. And the only reason you're doing that is because you got to cross this creek up here. This is the one that comes out of the lake up top we were at earlier this morning, June Lake. Water's running good. Isn't that pretty? Wow. All right, we're almost back to the June Lake Trailhead sign. All right, guys, so after crossing the uh, creek right there, 
If you go on the road just, I don't know, 50 yards maybe, you'll see the roadway up. It was a really, really faint trail. We took that, get off the roadway. Beautiful view of the river. Creek. As it comes tumbling down. Yeah, there's the backside of St. Helens up there. I say you can barely see this trail, but there's one here. We're gonna head out this way. All right, folks, we made it back to the trailhead road. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to walk the road back to where we parked Fiona, but that's all right. We'll see you back there. All right, boys and girls, we made it back to Fiona. And normally we'd say that wraps up another adventure, but somebody said they wanted to go see the waterfall, not the sun's out. I did, I didn't know he was gonna What's do another that. two miles, two and a half miles, right? It's Up only, hill. it's only a mile and a quarter. See you at the lake. <laughs> Bye. All right, deja vu. At least this time you can see the mountain. Oh, Boo Boo knows I love her. Truck up this mountain again. All right, here we go. We're almost back to the lake and that's a view you didn't get to see this morning. It's the one mile mark. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. We can actually see now. Amazing. I can hear the waterfall. Yeah. Hey, there's the Pikey Trail. <laughs> you want to do it? Sure, why not? Let's do it again. <laughs> not. All right, guys, there you have it. Now you can see. Looks like it's coming out of a hole in that cliff up there. Sure is pretty. I don't think there's any fish in here, but sure are a lot of them things. A lot of seaweed type grass growing in there. Lots of pond skimmers. All right, guys, there you have it. June Lake. See you back at Fiona. Yep. All right, boys and girls, for realsy this time. That concludes another adventure. With Jim and Karen. So, we did June Lake to... <laughs> Pika? Pika. Oh, yeah, Pika. Who could forget that? boulders lots of boulders and then we went from there to uh, I don't know something point no not point I don't know anyway the first round we actually did a loop we made it up or, or he made it up for us anyway we did 4.47 miles with only 888 elevation gain we got back to Fiona and he said why don't we go ahead and do June Lake again. Because I love her most. It's because the sun was out this time. So that one was round trip was 2.58 and your elevation is only 484. So it's half of what we did. But um, the lake's a lot prettier when it's not fogged in. Yeah. But the boulder fields are great. It was a great hike. It's beautiful out here no matter where you go. Be safe and be careful. And God bless you. And God bless and keep hiking. See you next week. Yep.